beautiful souls. Thank you for joining me today for this beautiful channeled message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I do hope you're well and that you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deepener knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. So today I'm bringing in Hidden Truths Oracle, this really cute deck, to get the messages from the Divine Masculine. I'm using messages from your other self as well, my deck. And then I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Honesty and Realizations from Sandra from World Illuminator 11. So these beautiful messages are so important in this moment because it helps you, Divine Feminine, understand you. It helps you understand what's going on with the physical person because you're one energy, you're one soul. And it helps you understand what this journey really is all about through these channelings from the Divine Masculines. We will be together again, Divine Feminine. There's nothing for you to worry about. We are going to be together. And for some of you, what I'm getting is the vibe of, well, I've heard that so many times. I'm sick and tired of hearing that. That's you coming out of your truth and that's you being in pain. So that pain... If that is what you're experiencing when you've received this message today, um, that pain has to be dealt with, Divine Feminine. You truly know when you're in your heart space that you are going to be together. And your Divine Masculine is just confirming what you already know through this channeling today. We will be together again. There's nothing for you to fear. So what else is coming through before I'm going more into this? I'm starting at, to understand our connection that's how I know that we're going to be together and I want you to be relaxed and peaceful about this connection that we have, this relationship. And this isn't a connection and this isn't a relationship with another physical person, it's a relationship with yourself. That's what you do have to remember, it's so important. If you are on a true twin flame journey, this isn't somebody that's set. This isn't a soul mate. This is one soul, one energy. And this physical person, your divine masculine that's come into your life, does reflect back to you what is going on within you, divine feminine. So release this fear about if you're going to be together with this person. You know that you're going to be together with your divine masculine and they are reassuring you of what you already know. And they're understanding, they're awake. They've been looking into this in this time of preparation. What this is that they feel for you. Why that is so different, Divine Feminine. I wish I could take back my words. I wish I didn't say the things I said to you, Divine Feminine. So having to let go of this regret, the Divine Masculine, and having to forgive the words that they shared with you. And those words can be many things. It could be where they've said, well, no, I don't love you. I don't want to be in your life anymore. Or other hurtful things that wasn't coming from their truth. I wish I could take those words back. It's, there's been a conversation that's happened and it's changed everything. It's brought confusion, so much doubt to you, Divine Feminine. These words that your Divine Masculine has shared with you. What's coming through in this reading is the Divine Masculines are being honest and truthful with themselves. They're admitting to themselves the truth, admitting to you the truth that they did get it wrong. And they wish that they could change their mistakes. Divine Feminine. They didn't mean to in intentionally hurt you. They didn't so say those words because they wanted to create pain for you. They said those words because they were in pain themselves. They were in fear mode. They weren't being who they truly are. They were afraid. The timing just wasn't right for us. That's why I said what I said. I didn't feel good about myself. I didn't know anything about myself. That's why I feel as these, these words were just, you know, really blunt, where they're really shutting you out of their life, Divine Feminine. 
it's really, really upset you, these words. And you've had to be going very deep within yourself to be able to forgive these words, to see beyond the action and the words of this Divine Masculine. The timing just wasn't right, Divine Feminine, at that time. And it wasn't. However hard that is to swallow, it wasn't right for you. It wasn't meant to everything it wasn't meant to be because it wasn't divine timing when you come into each other's life it was divinely orchestrated it was divine timing but then you have to go into you had to go into this preparation to go within yourselves to face your inner fears to clear what no longer serves you you had to do that individually and your divine masculine initiated this they're the ones that forced this preparation because of their words everything that has gone on was divinely guided those words had such a strong impact on you divine feminines it activated triggered you that's forced you to go within to deal with your rejection your abandonment wounds and maybe you wasn't aware that you had rejection and abandonment um, wounds at that time. <laughs> but you felt those wounds through these words that your divine masculine said. Um, so it wasn't right. Because you wasn't cleared from the conditioning, the beliefs that you've had about yourself, about relationships, about life. You were unable to have that relationship at that time with this physical person. But you are going to be together. And when you're together in the future, it's going to be so different. And yes, when you initially went to, you come together, sorry, you felt incredible because you experienced your pure, true energy. You felt what it was like to truly be you. But then you went into this preparation and that's when everything just crashed and you experience pain like you never experienced before. But you, when you come back together, the, it is gonna be pure. <laughs> You're gonna experience this love, having this physical person in your life with freedom, with no worries. And those worries haven't been cleared when you've initially come together. Yes, you felt great, but there was stuff that you needed to work through. And I know it's really hard to actually take that all in. Um, and some of my readings are so very deep. It, it, it's, it's very overwhelming. So you may have to listen to them again. But I'm sharing the truth of this journey. And the truth is coming through these messages from the Divine Muslims, how they're feeling. I hope that you can forgive me one day for these words that I told you that I didn't love you, that I pushed you away, that I said that you were wrong. There could be so many different things, those words, but it was words that was rejecting you, Divine Feminine. It, it felt, so, it's like a knife going in and stabbing you. It was just not pleasant at all. But you've been soothing that. And you could be still soothing that wound that is within you. Um, so I'm going to use messages from your other self next to see what else is coming through. So two did big jumps and landed on my wrist. I have so much love that I want to express to you, so I hope that you can forgive me. We are going to be together. Our future together will be so bright. There you go. I am going to make things peaceful between us, Divine Feminines. I'm not going to say um, right between us because there is no right or wrong when you're on this journey. You know you're, you're moving away from duality and getting to this place of just being neutral and having this balance. Um, so they want to be peaceful with you. They want to make peace with you. That's what I'm going to share that's coming through today. I have so much love that I want to express to you, Divine Feminine, and I wasn't able to express this to you back here. <clears throat> I 
I felt love like I've never felt before. I wasn't ready to experience that. And the fear is coming through in my throat shot. <clears throat> they were frightened of our then. Our future together is going to be so bright. I know it. I hope you can forgive me, Divine Feminine. I know what this is all about now. I know who you are, Divine Feminine. What else is it, the Divine Masculine? I've cried so... There you go. I've cried so much since we've been apart. I've relived this situation where I was sharing these words with you that I know that hurt you. It goes, that's been going over and over in my head and it's made me cry so much. I felt so much anger and frustration because I wish I could go back to that time and change my words and tell you the truth that, that I loved you. But I wasn't able to tell you those things back then and I'm just I've been beating myself up and physically not being with you, missing you, like I've never missed anything in my life before. I know it was all it's all caused by my actions. I've been putting myself through this pain by these words that I've said to you, by put me pushing you away. So how, however it seems to you, Divine Feminines, and I really do hope and pray that you're in your heart space when you're listening to this channeling, because if you're in your head, you're going to be like, oh yeah, right, do one. I don't think you've been crying. It seems to me as if you're getting on with your life. What I'm sharing is the truth. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You may see glimpses of your Divine Masculine's life on social media, and you think that you know what's going on. You don't know exactly what's going on. You know that you have a deep love that you've never experienced through this visible person coming into your life. You, you love them and it doesn't make sense. But you don't know exactly what is going on behind the scenes. And there are hidden blessings that are going on behind the scenes. Your divine masculine has been suffering. They have been upset. So emotional facing things within themselves, being made aware of their issues, their wounds. They have been upset. So they have cried, Divine Feminine. You make me feel complete. You make me feel whole. That's what I experienced when we come together. It was amazing. And what you and your Divine Muskins have both been doing in this time of preparation is to, to make yourself feel complete, to feel alive, feel whole, without anything outside of you. Not been turning to anything to, to fix you or to take you away from yourself. You're learning to give it to yourself, this love, to complete yourself. And completing yourself, feeling whole, is you trusting that deep and knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. It's not relying on this physical person. You think that they're going to come back and that's when you're going to feel complete and you're going to feel whole. It's about knowing that who they are and why they've come into your life. And they've come into your life because... They've awakened you to the greatest love of all, and that is love for yourself. To awaken you, to make you feel, for you to make yourself feel complete, beautiful soul. This is very deep, this reading today. It's a very firm reading as well, the way I'm channeling it as well. But your divine masculine is complete in your presence, and they're learning to make themselves feel complete in this preparation. Um, and the reason why you felt that way, you and your divine masculine, is because you felt what it was like to truly be you. You, divine feminines, and your divine masculine. And it wasn't because of any actions or anything that was happening through this physical person. It was energy that you experienced. I'm ready to share the whole of me with you, divine feminine. I want to open up. I'm ready. I wasn't ready then, but I'm ready now. 
to express how much I love you. Of how you do make me feel when I'm around you. And as I said, when you do come back together and you have this bright future, you're going to be free, you and your Divine Masculine, because you've, you've come out of your cage you've set yourself free because you're you've got rid of old beliefs and you're living life in your truth and so in tune with god with higher power feeling that support not judging yourself anymore not judging others anymore just feeling free just floating just going with the flow of life and being in the present moment cherishing every moment not expecting from each other you know to, to be fixed not relying on the other person to make you feel good to love you because you've got it for yourself so yeah this is very deep this reading today I'm it feels as if I'm going off on one here but it wants to come through so now I'm using the Divine Musk and Honesty and Realizations from Sandra World Illuminator 11. So I'm just going to pick two cards because this reading is going on long, longer than I expected. So that one flipped. Uh, proud. You've really come out of your shell since the last time I saw you and are doing really well. I admire your courage, strength, power and everything that you, achieve, you are achieving. I'm so proud of you. That is the truth. Whatever they said here that made you, you feel as if um, you weren't worthy, they're making peace with you through this reading, being honest, and they're saying, I am so proud of you. I've always been proud of you, Divine Feminine. I wasn't able to show you then. And as I always say to you, when messages, when messages come through about being proud... You know what it feels like for your divine masculine to be proud of you because when you're proud of yourself, it feels so good. It feels amazing. You smile, you feel so excited. You feel so much love when you're proud of yourself and that is where your divine masculine is, beautiful soul. And they have acknowledged how much you've changed, how much you've come out of your shell, how much you've changed things outside of you as well as inside so they may have you know seen this I mean, on social media they know that you've changed divine feminine and they're so proud of you and i know that these words they do mean so much to you divine feminine is coming from your divine masculine but feel it yourself and you'll feel how proud your divine masculine is of you there, you don't need to hear words it's a it's it's a, a feeling you know it within you um so what else wants to come through for the divine feminine divine masculine honored i feel honored to be the one who shares this beautiful divine love with you i'm yours forever divine feminine you've got nothing to worry about i cannot believe that you are my divine feminine it's overwhelming for me and I feel honoured. I feel this gratitude that you will not believe it as well. Where I just, I feel as if I want to kiss your feet. I cannot believe how much I respect you. How much you've done for me coming into my life. That the fact that I am worthy to receive you, Divine Feminine. I feel so honoured, so grateful, so blessed. The whole of your being is just absolutely beautiful. I've never come across anybody that is strong and that's so gorgeous and beautiful as you. You're absolutely unique. And I just feel so honoured. <laughs> and that's because the Divine Masculines are, you know, they're feeling honoured because they're honouring themselves now, respecting themselves allowing themselves to go through all these different processes facing things within themselves they're willing um to face their fears the things that made them feel uncomfortable that they've been running from 
The Divine Musculans are so very open and they want this new fresh start. Can you believe it? And my stomach's agreeing with me. A new, st new start with you is all I'm dreaming about day and night and it's coming in for us. I'm making it happen, Divine Feminine. That's what's happening at this time. And not only are the Divine Musculans restless at night because they're missing you and they want to be beside you, um, Divine Feminine, they're excited as well about this new fresh start. This Divine Muscle knows exactly what they're doing. They're putting plans and they're working towards things so they can have this bright future with you, Divine Feminine. They're dreaming about this new fresh start with you. And yes, the mind ego does come in and go, oh, you know, what about this? And is my Divine Feminine going to open their arms to me? Are they going to forgive me? What about if this happens? What about that happens? But they're aware of this conversation that goes on in their head now. And they're allowing those thoughts, but they're not believing those thoughts. They're not putting their energy into those thoughts. So they're not holding back. They're still pushing through Divine Feminine. They honour you. They feel so blessed that this has actually happened to them and that you are their divine feminine and they know who you are because they've been looking into this with, uh, um, which one was it? I understand um, this connection. They didn't understand who you were then. They didn't understand why they was experiencing love that, that they've never experienced before. And the circumstances that you may have been in, it may have seemed outrageous where it was just like, well, this can never work because there may have been an age gap. They may have been complications which now you know that aren't complications that seem to be in the way and it was th through fear that your divine muskin said those words because they weren't ready they didn't know what they know now they didn't know who they were and you didn't know who you were divine feminine so what a powerful beautiful channeling from the divine masculine thank you divine masculine this is absolutely beautiful I do hope it resonates and I do hope it's been supportive and if you were in your head at the beginning of this reading that you are now in your heart space and that you do have a better, deeper understanding of what this journey is all about and as I said at the beginning, if you if you are experiencing pain and you would like support, I am doing personal readings and I'm offering one-to-one -one sessions if you're ready for change and to take responsibility. Um, but I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I hope that you're going to be smiling for the rest of this day or evening, whatever time it is, wherever you're living in the world. And most importantly, stay focused, believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, the unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me and I'm sending you so much love, my support my strength and light and I love you so very much. See ya.